spoke of a garden that fed, sustained and nourished the family. Um, always a pumpkin vine, nesty and creeping from the compost heap. Passion fruit vines clambering over the fence, and I'm sure many of you can relate to that as well. Um, but I also came away from the discussion so impressed with Claire's vitality, her passion for her work, and also that nurturing leadership of her team, just like a garden bed. So the ideas and concepts started buzzing, um, but I was very anxious to reflect the story and do it justice in my painting. Um, botanical art is very detailed, and I'll reference Gillian, um, Gillian's words because as the right side of my brain was doing the artistic detailed coloured work, the left side was thinking about Claire's work and how it ties in to our lives and how I felt it was so intrinsic to our healthy lives. So to me it's a meditation as I paint and I, I was I just kept hearing everything and tying it in with my life and absolutely resonating within me how important I find it as well and feel about it. So the concept soon evolved because I kept thinking about education and how Claire educates with her work. And I thought of a poster style because that sharing of information and identifying the technological tools to share it also ensued in informed decision making, which as you touched on is empowering and enabling. Helping people to make the choices rather than lecturing to them about how to eat, I think is, is, is brilliant. So consequently, I began with a garden bed whose flourishing plants bear roots that spread vigorously just as education does but also as a signal to the foundation of strong growth of the members of her team. They put out their roots, they spread, they entwine. When Claire particularly asked for the inclusion of the Queensland blue pumpkin, mm -hmm. such a staple <laughs> presence in her memory, but also proudly stating her Queensland roots, um, I made it the core of the starting point and the focal point, if you like. The vine that creeps and folds and borders the painting is another herald of the spirit of knowledge. Um, the centre of the pumpkin leads to the passion fruit flower, a beautiful flower, a nod to Claire, and a nod to her obvious passion for her work and her life in general from, my, from our discussion I sensed. But also it um, represented the complexity of nature. Um, the flower itself has got a fascinating reproductive um, structure and, and I think the complexity of, of what you're doing is also within a represented in that flower. Now you'll see an apple and you may think that it's obviously a reference to the old adage that an, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> um, but to me it was more about choice, Adam and Eve, temptation um, and how, how these choices work um, sorry, Claire's work highlights choice um, and then you will see a little snake figure in there somewhere. <laughs> um, but these, these choices that we make just produce better health outcomes and there's proof in it. Um, colour was important to Claire, um, just as she mentioned, is a varied and colourful diet. Hence I included some of the most vivid and with, with those with meaning for instance, the carrots symbolising the vision that Claire has and a very clear vision that she has with her work. I also included a honeybee, so important to the pollination of our gardens, um, but also again representing that collecting and spreading of information. Honeybees collect and spread pollen and nectar, so does Claire's work. Um, and also we all know about the health benefits of, of honey. Small amounts of it. <laughs> Claire pointed out that she loved the inclusion of the bee because there's always a sting in the tail when it comes to nutrition. Um, the painting peaks with pumpkin flower, which brings it all back to the beginning um, and in a circle that promises flourishing and ongoing success. We 
which I'm sure Claire's work is going to continue to do. So Claire, the honour was all mine. Thank you. It's a pleasure that I can see my dad and you know, my dad passed away a couple of years ago and it's really bizarre because I've actually felt his presence today. Yeah. And um, this is this is what under our house was like. So we had a Queensland house on stilts and the pumpkins were always stacked up. And I still remember um, like a, as a kid, you know, like seeing how big was the next tomato was an amazingly exciting thing. The old fashioned <laughs> scales were, and the one time the scales went around once and a quarter. <gasps> so it weighed a pound and a quarter. Wow. But that's, that's beautiful, you've captured that. I can't see the snake yet, but I can see the bee. That's just the Oh, that, that so represents everything that we discussed. And I know that day that you and I talked, we could have just chatted for hours and hours and until Paris basically said, that's it. <laughs> but that's really lovely. And, and um, thank you, that must have taken you hours and hours and hours. But there was a lot of things you said tonight that just I was going in my head tick tick and tick right <laughs> everything that i was thinking as i painted about what i'd heard and what i hope to to show here it's absolutely beautiful you're a very talented artist so thank you i feel really honored thank you